Hello everyone, William here for 222 Productions, currently once again located in a back room of the XL Center, home of the National Ninja League Season 4 World Championships, and this time I am joined by one of our many uh, well-suited international competitors, all the way from the Barbados, and the creator of the Barbados Ninja Throwdown, Delano Hines. How are you doing tonight? I'm well, thanks. Thanks for having me, and thanks for the interview. It's much appreciated. Really do appreciate it. And, uh, must say, had a great time this weekend. Got to meet you for the first time. Um, even though we were, we may have crossed paths indirectly at the last NNL, but yeah. glad to finally meet you, Will. Um, you know. Yes, I'm um, glad to meet you too. You're a very lovely person. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, tell us a little bit about the uh, Barbados Ninja Throwdown and uh, why you created it and uh, what the event is itself. Um, well, initially, uh, it's I did it just to create something for people to do. Um, Ninja is, is now in Barbados now going four years um, with the fourth event coming up on May 11th, 2019. Um, I mean, and I did it as well to, to make it affordable for everyone to do. It's a sport and sports are meant to be enjoyed by everybody that, that wants to do it, um, to be quite honest with you. Um, I actually participated on in 2014. I went up 2014. I went up for USA versus the world. The first time they were doing it, and that's where I met a lot of American ninjas and international ninjas. And um, I was really hooked on it. Um, it was hard at first because I was the only one at home doing it. And um, the support came initially from my from all from my family, only from my family really. Um, so it was really hard trying to break the ice to get other people interested. Um, so when I did the first Barbados Ninja Throwdown in November 2016, and I saw people coming out to tr just to train and practice, I said, I'm onto something here, and this is something for me to create a, a, a positive community and have a positive impact in Barbados, and also, as well as also attract other ninjas from around the world to come and, and take part, which I was luckily, uh, lucky enough and successful enough to do last year um, at the event. So, uh, so I'm, I'm really happy to see where it's going and the, the support that is being given as well too. That, that's that's great to hear. Um, how uh, what right now? What's the size you would say? And uh, when's the next uh, throwdown uh, going to happen? Uh, well, the next throwdown is happening May eleventh, twenty nineteen. Um, I have a cap. I cap it at sixty competitors. It's a one day event. It's a one one shot course. Um, we go from ages eight to twelve, thirteen to seventeen, eighteen and up. Well, now this year will be eighteen to forty four, and then forty five and up will be masters. Um, which should be great. So, you know, this is the first time I'm having a master's category. Um, uh, and I have, well, to be honest, I have as young as six years old competing. So the six-year-olds, you know, and I tell the parents, if your son or daughter, is, they think they can handle, handle the course, let them do it. Don't, you know, age is just a number. You know, it, that shouldn't be a factor at all. Um, so, you know, we're, we're gearing up for the fourth event this year. I've had a lot of help from my good friend, Perry Osterley. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in the last year from the NNL, so thank you to both uh, Wachewskis for getting involved and uh, you know helping, allowing me to become part of the NNL. To be quite honest with you, that has been a big push for for for, for us all. Um, I mean, I, I, to be honest with you, like yesterday, for example, I got a, I asked Flip Rodriguez to do a, a little shout out to a, a, one of the competitors they have because he's Flip, one of Flip's biggest fans. And I sent the video to his mom, and his mom was like, he's over the moon, he's ecstatic about it. So that's the impact that the ninjas in the community have on other n potential future ninjas um, coming into it. Um, I think it's important that everyone in the ninja community realize that this is a sport that is developing into a proper sport and we all need to be on the same page. Um, you, you know, and we all, just, we all just need to be cohesive. You know, we're only as strong as the weakest link um, and we all need to rise together. Not one person rising higher than the other, etc. No, we, we all need to be together. I'm doing my part. Everyone, I, I know other people are trying to do their part to do whatever they can, and and I think it's heading in the right direction. You know, they, they have. Um, I believe it's. Um, you could correct me if I'm wrong, but um, speed climbing that's an Olympics. Yes. Skateboarding's in the Olympics now. Yes. Um, so why? I mean, I'm not expecting us to be in the next Olympic Games for sure, but we can definitely. Uh, get there for the one the games after and have um, you know big enough and substantial enough competitions um, not only just here in the states but throughout the world to justify that this should become a, a, a proper sport Wow, that's, that's very thorough. I always appreciate thorough answers. Um, so one of the things that we have uh, back here right now is that uh, your, I believe it was your parents' hotel? Uh, family hotel, yeah. Your family hotel is an official sponsor of uh, the National Ninja League. So uh, why don't you uh, tell our viewers a little bit about why they should visit Barbados and why uh, they should stay at uh, your family hotel? 
Well, if the flyer and the pictures don't do enough, well, I can tell you, Ross Trevor Hotel, uh, we sponsored the uh, prize for the male and female winners, uh, whether they finish the course or last people standing, a five-night stay, compliments of Ross Trevor, um, in Barbados uh, around the time of Ninja Throwdown so that way they can come for a vacation and they can come and watch a competition if they want or participate as well. Um, you know, it's, a, it's been family owned, it's been in my family for the last 20 years or so. Um, we have our own little beach here, um, some people, a little Canadian flag there if you see. You know, bring your American flags down and we can hang them up. Um, honestly speaking, it's a really nice, uh, nice boutique hotel. Um, again, family run, so we, 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 we stress the importance of family. Um, I don't know if I mentioned to you, we, I have some guests who've been coming there since I was a thought, <laughs> to give you an idea. So, so when they come, they're like, oh, you've grown, you've grown so tall. I'm like, okay, I, I do know you from somewhere, I guess, you know. Um, but yeah, no, we've, we've, we, we are happy to be a part of the NNL and to help the sport develop and grow. Like I said, mom, my cousin Robin, the general manager, she's seen it grow in Barbados, what I've been able to do. And um, they strongly believe that, you know, with, with their support, you know, we are going to get more people to come out, you know. So, so for example, you know, for Ninjas, it's just only about a cash prize anymore. You have access to this. And, and this is, again, stressing my first point. We can come together and, and really make something happen, you know. Um, I'm just, again, I'm doing what I can um, on my end. And I know there are other people who may be um, more of an influence to get other uh, sponsors, other bigger names involved that can ha make this happen. And I think, I think we, you should just go for it. As they say, full send. <laughs> you know, full send, send it full, you know. Um, so yeah, um, you know, we will try and be a part of the NNL Comp World Championships and in every time we can. And uh, other competitions as well too. Um, you know, so any ninjas just reach out to me. Um, once it's feasible, we will gladly be a part of it. Wow. I actually wasn't aware that there was part of the prize uh, this year <laughs> that that that, that uh, as soon as you said that I'm like whoa <laughs> that 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 perked me up right there uh, so uh, for for people watching this where could they find more information about both the Barbados Ninja Throwdown and the Reservoir Barbados uh, if they are interested in any way well you can go to www.barbadosninjathrowdown.net um, you can also check out our Facebook page Barbados Ninja Throwdown or the Instagram page Barbados Ninja Throwdown um, any, any ninjas who know me personally or have me on social media, you can reach out to me. You can also go to uh, www.rostrevorbarbados.com or just type in Ross Trevor Hotel in Google and it will definitely bring up the website. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, um, we, we, we'll be glad to help anybody in any way we can. Yeah. All right. So I guess just, uh, just one final question. Uh, how do you see yourself as a ninja competitor uh, within the next few years? But I do this from the goodness of my heart. I do it for fun. I do it for fun. Um, I tell you, I'm not, I'm not the best. I, 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 some other people, some of my family, my uncle will say, you know, you can do this. I, you know, I do it for the fun of it. I do it for the fun of it. Honestly speaking, you know, it's the exposure, the experience. It's a trip. It's a trip. I got to meet you. You know what I mean? Uh, Perry, Henry, LeVar. It's a trip. It's an experience, you know? Yes, you might get disappointed. You might, you might fail on the first. I'm disappointed I failed on the first obstacle. I, I, I am, you know? But, but any day, you know what? It is what it is. Let's make the most of the trip and go and see other gyms. I'm going to go and do some rock climbing. I mean, I, there was snow on the ground the other day, you know? A whole bunch of different experiences that, that I would have been able to have if I didn't come on this trip. So me as an inter competitor, you know, I, I would like to get past stage one, at least. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, that's something for me to train up, train towards and, and, and keep striving towards. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm an eh, average, average, average competitor. <laughs> well, uh, I must say my, my favorite part of all this, these NNL comps is being able to do the interviews, especially like, you know, interviewing people like you from, from other countries and stuff. And so thank you very much for, for taking the time to talk with me here. Uh, everyone, make sure you check out all, the, all of his social media links and the links for all the stuff that we talked about here today. Thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more content just like this. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hey everyone, huge thanks to Delano for doing this interview with me. Make sure you check out Barbados Ninja Throwdown and follow Delano on Instagram. Links in the description down below.